Hello everyone. This is one of the interesting question that came in at JRF. Okay. Which one of the following statements above downstream change in river morphology is incorrect? Okay. Uh, first stop the video and uh, try to answer it by yourself. I have already put a picture from that if you understand the picture you can easily answer this question okay now uh, this is a river longitudinal profile okay because in the in our options first one is there is an inverse relationship between longitudinal slope and the channel width inverse relationship okay if longitudinal slope is is more than channel width is okay here if we see channel width is very less but slope is high so if this option is correct we have to mark the incorrect one okay we have done so uh, we have done this mistake okay we will forget that we have to mark the incorrect okay so that's why i circle that one okay the word incorrect so that i can remember that i have to mark the wrong one now go with the second option there is it means this one is a good one okay now the second option is there is an inverse relationship between the longitudinal river slope and mean bed load size bed load size okay i will put this in question and it is bed load okay if now i correlate these two here in the beginning it generally contain congo uh, boulder congo and pebble in this we can get little smaller boulder and these things in the lower we get clay silt and sand now now if slope is more bed load is bed load size is also more mean bed load size is also more but but they have put that inverse relationship if slope is more than bed load is mean bed load is less, uh, size is less okay, because they put the inverse relation so it, this option is incorrect okay we'll go with the other option okay as we get our answer but we will go with the other option also so that we can understand more why this is only this one is wrong or some other thing is also wrong because sometimes uh, to wish to answer might be wrong okay now there is an in inverse relationship between the longitudinal river slope and the average discharge discharge okay if you see that slope is high discharge is less slope is little less discharge increase if slope is very less discharge is more so this option is correct this option is also correct now going with the fourth one there is an inverse relationship between the longitudinal slope and the channel cross section cross section okay as we can see that this is the channel cross section okay if slope is more channel cross section is less then increasing then increasing okay okay so this option is also correct we don't think that we can get the answer okay very easily but we have to read other option also because we can build a new question of uh, in which the answer is this one okay 
because every year they have to change the question no? so they can not repeat the question okay so they can means option might be the first one third one and fourth one if they build the new question okay related with this topic and definitely they will build the question with this topic okay thank you hope you understand this question uh, try to answer and understand the basic concept of geology and try to share this video with your friends and uh, like share and comment and subscribe also so that you can get much more videos and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box i will try to answer the, your questions thank you